Bottom of the second inning, Phillies trail at one nothing as they go up against Max Scherzer for a second inning. He threw just six pitches to get through the first. Joining us up here in the booth is uh, Phillies uh, Vice President, General Manager Ruben Amaro Jr. Uh, this is not your typical day. I mean, <laughs> even for a team that's that struggled like the Phillies, this is not a typical day in the in, in the world of Phillies baseball. No, a bit of a uh, obviously a bit of a shocker for everybody um, this morning when. Uh, when Ryan came in and, uh, to speak with Pat and myself and uh, decided to uh, to resign as, as our manager it was um, you know frankly it was uh, a little bit out of the blue in fact a lot of it out, out of the blue but um, you know, we're, we're dealing with it and we're trying to move forward and things like this I mean things happen during you know for baseball teams for football teams for basketball teams so that's it you have to kind of just move forward as best you can. Well, the train doesn't stop. Um, we have to continue to, you know, to, to play the season and, and uh, play baseball and, and uh, do our jobs. And that's what uh, basically I've asked of Pete McCannon, who has graciously taken uh, uh, taken the role of being our, our interim manager, and uh, John Miserac, who is now working at third base in in, uh, in Pete's stead. Fly ball to center field, and Michael Taylor runs it down. Ruben, I know we heard what Rhino said uh, during his press conference. What was the main thing that he, if you can share that with us, that he told you and Pat? I think it was exactly the same message. I mean, I think it was to the point where I think he believed that this was the best thing for him and the, the organization um, to step down and and to uh, you know give the you know, the powers that be a clean slate. Uh, to to move forward, he didn't feel like um, you know, I think he was very disappointed in, in our record, our wins and losses, and and, uh, and even though the guys were playing hard and, and uh, doing their, their, their best effort, um, you know, we were just coming up short. So now, as you move forward, you said today that uh, Pete said today that he'll be here for the homestand. What's the process moving forward? Is it just an evaluation on who the next person could be? Yeah, I think right now um, we're just really in the we're still in. You know, for lack of a better word, a little bit of shock, and so um, you know, we felt like uh, Pete, since he's been in this role before and, and, and actually done a nice job in, in, in the in the interim role, um, well, we figured to give, give him the opportunity, and uh, you know we'll continue to assess uh, how we want to move forward uh, over the next several days. Um, it is possible that, that Pete can continue to be the interim, uh, interim guy through through the end of the season, but we left it basically very open ended and. Uh, uh, Pat and I and our baseball group will get together and, and discuss it a little bit further, but um, we'll see how it goes over this weekend and uh, and, and through this uh, the end of the homestand and we'll go from there. Now, at any time, Ruben, during the meeting with uh, Ryan, did you tell him to maybe change his mind and say, listen, why don't you stay around for a little while? <laughs> well, we sure did. We can turn this around? In fact, or? Uh, several of us so, uh, um, kind of tried to push him to, to, to stay with us, but I think that he had really kind of basically uh, made up his mind that um, that he felt it was the best thing for him and his family and, and for the organization moving forward. Now you met with the players. Uh, I know Rhino met with the players as well. We were down there afterward, so we kind of got a sense of what the reaction was. What was their reaction when you, you told them for the first time? Well, I, they were probably as shocked as I was, and it's pretty quiet. Um, yeah, very very quiet in there. Um, probably a little confusion, uh, but. Um, a very very difficult message to, to give and a very strange one um, in, at, at this particular juncture but um, like I said we've got to, we have to move on and, and play baseball and do what we can to continue to develop these young players all right well Max Scherzer has another easy inning here at the bottom of the second room and we appreciate you spending some time with us and we'll uh, sure. touch base with you again down the road well, thanks man. all right Ruben tomorrow our guest up here in the booth Phillies and the Nationals go to the third it's one nothing Nats